All right, so Sawyer 189 here. And this is my review for the Terrifics number one from the new line of DC Heroes comics. Now, I was really excited for this book for a while because I like really like Mr. Terrific and I really like Plastic Man, which are two of the main characters. The other two characters, I'm not really all that partial to, but they're perfectly fine. Uh, but this issue, and this issue was good, but it was a little hard to follow at some points. And that's probably because I'm not used to, or I haven't read any of the Dark Knight stuff, Dark Knight's Metal or whatever. And this book does seem to kind of fall into the whole that whole event, because apparently everything in DC f falls into that event now, which is a little annoying. But anyway, um, so yeah, the book is a little hard to follow at points. It's a, it gets really cosmic and all and multi-dimensional with with the storyline. I do like that it just jumps right in and starts, you know, getting into some action and starts getting into some like some story development. We don't have a whole lot, you know, like the team just kind of gets thrown together, which is usually the way is usually a good way to do that kind of stuff. Plastic Man was fine in this book. I really enjoyed him. Uh, he wasn't quite as winsome, you know, he wasn't quite as jokey as he usually is, but it was perfectly fine. I think it's a good blend for the how serious the story is that he's not like overly jokey and overly comical. So I did like that. There's some really gorgeous art as you can see right here in this panel. There's some amazing like there's some, some amazing there's some amazing long shots and some amazing like solid you know panels or solid pages of just gorgeous art. Um, I also like how Phantom Girl was just kind of like you know she was thrown to the story very cleverly done because she's you know you, you know she's a character from the future so I wasn't sure how they were gonna blend it in but uh, yeah like the whole team seems to fit in pretty decently together. Uh, there's some different appearances by different characters that was fun. Overall, the issue looks it's pretty solid. I think I'm still going to need a few issues to really sell me on this book. I mean, I want to like it because I, like I like a lot of the team aspects. But um, And while it's a good book, it didn't quite grab me in you know, this first issue. I'm going to give it a couple more to try to see if it really grabs me in. Uh, overall, the story just wasn't all that engaging like... The characters are fun to or to read, and the art's gorgeous. But I felt like this overall story was a little, uh, not really kind of non-existent, I guess. And, I, and and if you've read Dark Knight's Metal or whatever, this might be more interesting to you. You might get more out of it. But since I didn't read that any of that stuff, I just felt like I was like a, a stranger in a strange land, I guess you could say. A lot of people were drawing comparisons to uh, the Fantastic Four from Marvel. And it's very easy to see why. Uh, we, you know, even the, the writer, I think, has even been on on file saying uh, that he was inspired to do this from the Fantastic Four, from his love of the Fantastic Four from when he was a kid. And you can see it. You can see like this whole multidimensional thing is kind of like their version of the uh, microverse or antimatterverse, whatever it's called in Marvel. Uh, you can tell that you know the, the team lineup is very much a Fantastic Four lineup. You know, you got Mr. Terrific, who's basically Reed Richards. You also have Plasman, who's kind of, you know, Reed Richards, like, power set-wise, anyway. And then you have uh, Phantom Girl, who's basically Invisible Girl, and Metamorpho, who's basically the thing. So it's very interesting how that's, how that's set up. Oh, and I guess Plasman is kind of like Human Torch, too. Uh, his power set's more like Reed, but his personality is more like Human Torch. So it's kind of interesting how they do that. This book does have a cool cameo at the very end uh, by a character who I'm not very familiar with, but I do understand is a kind of like a newer character in the DC Universe, or a newly acquired character, I guess you could say. I'm not going to get into who it is. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, try not, I try not to do too many spoils when I do these uh, reviews. But it is kind of interesting, and it does set up a, a possibly very interesting uh, next issue. So I say, I say give it a chance. I say give it a couple issues, like I'm going to do. Uh, it definitely has some interesting ideas in here, but overall, I think it's a, it's a solid book, but I don't think it's one of the best books I've read in the last few weeks. I think there's been other better choices lately, because there's been some really solid books coming out recently, but uh, I'd probably give, uh, rating-wise, one through five, I'd probably give this about, about a three and a half, you know, about average, I guess, which is not what I wanted to give this. I wanted to give it a lot higher than that, but it's just not there right now.